I think with the Qatar World Cup coming up, Sané will be very careful not going into a new environment because I think he's very, very eager to be in that German squad and play a, play a role during the World Cup in Qatar. Like Jan, when Sané's on it, he is brilliant to watch yeah. because he is a little bit unique in that sense that he can take it past people. Great finisher as well. Just edge your seat sort of player. Mm -hmm. Do Real Madrid need him? In, in those moments, yeah, in those game. moments, yeah. you would want Leroy Sané to be in any of your teams. If you're a fan and you see Leroy Sané play and you see those moments, you go, yeah, this is a guy we can use. And yet, Pep Guardiola, it wasn't for him. He goes to Bayern Munich and he hasn't been consistent enough. So at some point you start to ask the question, can this guy do it consistently for me? Can right. he produce? Can he be a guy that every day shows up and not just flashes? And it's a question that it's a fair question to ask of him because it's been year after year after year. To the point that Germany decided in the 2018 World Cup, we don't need him. A team that was struggling to create chances and a team that was struggling to score goals, not for us. It says something about the player right. that coaches at the highest level continue to pass on him and continue to choose other players over him. That, I think, is a referendum on him as a player and his career. From a coaching perspective, Stevie, would it be fair to say this is the most frustrating player to deal with? Mm. Aye. Oh, no question. Absolutely no question. Um, and, and I'm going to guess that he's probably not the best guy sitting on the bench either. You know, he's no Divo Carigi, who, regardless <laughs> of what whether he plays or whether he doesn't, has got a smile on his face, is absolutely perfect for everything. But he's the kind of guy that can get you the sack, you know? He's the kind of guy who one day does one thing, you play him, and then he just doesn't give you anything. And when you're, as a coach, if you're under pressure to get results, right. he's the type of guy that gets you the sack. Is that fair, Jan? Yeah, it's fair. Uh, and not fair, because I think that uh, uh, Sané's problem as well is his body language. Um, you can discuss, are you born with a body language? You, we, we remember back in the days when, when Ötzil had a bad game. It was, not, it was not like he had a bad game. He looks like the worst man playing in London. I mean, that, that was his body language. So that they are, there are players who have bad games, but they look like they're fighting. They look like they're battling. And that is a problem a part of, of Sané as well. His body language is, is not good. But you also, we saw the numbers there. The f first year, he had 14 plus 14 goals uh, and assists. And then the next season, 10 plus 10. Meaning that it is a don't fall in, in his career. And as Al said, he has missed the World Cup already. And he will be desperate to, to, to make the squad. So that's why I don't think that Sané will will leave. I think that he will still have the trust of Nagelsmann at least for another season. And Hansi Flick knows that he has a national team that is depending that people like Sané is producing the goods. If not, Germany can't be, be a contender for a semi-final, quarter-final of the World Cup. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.